All right. Oh, I've immediately realized another. Uh, and just do this. Just get on Nash. I can't remember. What were we doing last time? I know we were running around looking for little Millie. I mean, strawberry. That's it. Uh. Dying. We died a bunch. Yes. How much money did we have? We wanted to go do some logging, some lumberjack stuff. We hung out with doggies. Yeah, I'm sure. That's that's what we call that. I hate, I hate you, flop. 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 God, I gotta practice the accent all over again. Little Millie. Ooh, really struggling there. Okay. Uh, I got the 162. I got the wood chopping axe. All right. And give the doggies treats. Sure. Yeah, that's what was going on. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. Uh, walks, crazy, facial animations, extreme. See, it's Nash time. Yeah, we're gonna be Nash time. Now that, uh, oh, now that we're going to have to be forced off shift two a lot more, Nika's numbers are so high. Um, we're going to have a lot more time for wild RP. What's this? I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. It's a horrible look. It's so accurate. Yeah, we all feel a little like that at the moment. Crossing guards with their vests because it's accurate more so than the more cops the security guards. Yeah. Uh sweet. Alright. Pick the map. I'm gonna have to remember fucking what was his Give me a second.
Now we need segues to make him full pull block. Pull block would be great. Hit a car with a segue. Where the hell are you gonna get a segue from? I presume lumberjack workers. Scuffy to start off with, uh, but, <laughs> but also just really not good money because nobody seems to be doing it. However, I just think it fits. It just fits Nash. I think Nash is just always, he's going to be doing a lot of this. How much money do I have? 62. So I have to, I have to go sell. I have to go sell. Would he go hunting? No. Oh no. Run, 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 run. Oh. Not even for sustenance. He would have to be absolutely starving. I think he'd go fishing. Until like the second or third time he go fishing and he kind of stared into the fish's eyes as it suffocated in the air. Then maybe he would reconsider his position. But overall, I don't think he would do. I don't think he would, he would do any of that. killed the kitty fishing is fine they're weird they are weird dude got big with no protein yeah we're probably just eating tons of beans i mean they, they wouldn't have eaten that much protein anyway right Imagine how big he would have got with protein. Oh my god. Besides spending time with your girlfriend? Uh, Switzerland. Driving around Switzerland is going to be really, really nice. Um, the kind of whole lake and... Uh, what's it called? The mountains. Just driving around the lake and the mountains to Switzerland. Like, I, I could do that solo. So there's this tank with this dogfish in it, which is a type of shark. You swim up to your hands and touch them with their nose until you pet them. They aren't that different from other animals. Yeah, fish should. Fish can be kind of. Why does it do that? Maybe friendly.
system is gorgeous and time of year not too cold uh the amount of peace still snowed on yeah that would be the nice part it's scary you're scared of fish fair enough i know that the was it the sea and stuff can be pretty uh daunting Is it going to be the same tree? It's always that tree over there. Bless me. Don't melee me, just like all ocean things are kind of creepy to me. That's fair enough. Bless you. Yeah, I sneezed. I muted my microphone though. So you didn't get, you know, your ear blown open. I guess he's good. Bless me. Good one, tight. Thank you. You're crazy when you can't see land a whale bigger than you both swim next to you. Yeah, that would scare the ever loving shit out of me. Imagine not knowing what miles beneath you in the ocean. Yeah, that would. All right, give me heebie jeebies. Heebie jeebies. So deep that it's pitch black. That scares the shit out of me. Yeah, I can't do that. I need to see the bottom. I assume I can just go get another license. How much weight do I have? 28 out of 50? Then just go get another license and just keep keep getting more stuff. Same tree? Oh, okay. Man, Nash is having the time of his life. Oh, Millie. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you knew Nash tried to describe this to to Millie. <laughs> oh God. Oh, Millie. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll found, I found a camp and, 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 and they, they, they let me, let me cut down the trees. I just, I just, I gave them a dollar and I just, I kept chopping. I kept chopping. And then, and then, and then I was lifting, and I was chopping, and I was lifting, and I, I felt, I felt real strong.
I know at least one of the people. I presume that's LGX. Funny, it's like Nash trying to write Millie a letter. Yeah, he's just thinking of what's been going on. How much am I at? 43. I'm not going to be able to carry anymore. I, 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 I want to walk and carry, carry some walls. Bob, you, you able to carry some, some, some of these logs for me? Thank you, Bob. I wouldn't presume anything. I wouldn't presume anything either. And also, it would be matter of me to actually know who was around. The reality is, is that Nash is going to do... He's going to do this for a little bit. Earn a little bit of money. Because he likes cutting down trees. And he likes doing this uh and then once he's earned a little bit of money it's not gonna be much i'll probably only do this like one or two more times he's gonna go off looking for the little millie again just spend the whole stream just grinding money I could do that off stream if I really wanted to but uh I don't think Nash really has much of a need for money Kind of need money to make the RP continue and like be able to do things. Right, imaginary letters to Billy in his head. That's true. Food though, yeah, food and food flop. Other things I would purchase would just be like items for ho flop, um, a horse hairbrush, maybe another axe, an axe to defend himself. He I, don't I, don't, I don't imagine getting a gun anytime soon. I think somebody will have to teach him how to shoot. See how much we got. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 50. That's plenty of money. That's like $30. I don't need anything more than that. I think he owes mainly like 10. So he'll, he'll give that back. That leaves him with twenty dollars. We'll probably buy a water canteen. I don't think do you really need to buy a water canteen? Yes. But there's rivers everywhere. How do you feed the horse? I just buy apples. 
It'd make no sense not to buy one. It's just drink the water. See, the roads are getting tougher. I'm getting older. I, I, I think I'm getting old, older there, sir. Howdy. Your hair real white and, 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 and there ain't much, much of it there, there sir. Uh -huh. Get back off a bit. What? No, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going the, the same way. What the hell's wrong with you? On um, what? Well, look, you've got a yellow belt. I don't. I don't know what that means. I think you just call me a coward. It's NPC. I know. How do you feed the horse? Oh, uh, you just like walk up to them and like, uh, right click to stare at them. And then, uh, and I interact with them that way. I was convinced it was a normal character. No, yeah, that was an NPC. As soon as he slowed down so that I could jump onto him, I was like, yeah, this is an NPC. Okay, I keep trying to get... That's going to get me in trouble. I'm going to punch my horse sometime. Keep trying to press F like you would in GTA to get in, get, get on the horse. And that just leads you to punching. And I think I'm just going to fucking... I don't know. I'm just going to hit flop. Alright, 30. Uh, Next, good for chopping trees. Let's get... I think I should get water canteen. Let's just water canteen. Just like and apples. And then we'll get a, uh, a hatchet. So I have something to defend myself with. Not very good. And I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me. Well, at least. At least he can defend himself then. And then if I go to a bank. Or I can just put this axe. There we go. Can you key rebind? I could. Have to make Nash friendly? Oh yeah, you're right. Would Nash smoke or drink coffee? I don't think he would have any desire to do either of those things. I'm not even sure if he would have ever done either of those things. Hey, Grail. I think, I don't know for, uh, for a fact, but I fancy out my box and flops would have him carry a lantern. Uh, yeah, I can get him to carry a lantern, but. Nearly would have tried in the circus to try to find just get him to try it again. I think that's accurate. All right, let's go look for little Millie, shall we? Uh, who we're not going to find.
we're gonna have just as much as finding uh as we just as much luck as finding a last uh, as we did last time Do you remember how to describe your telegram number without looking at it? Nope. Ah, uh, it, it, it's far cry. Right? And, and, and then like, but it's like, like, boot, 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 Let's see. So I think it's E R five three. That's what I think it is. Never mind. I can't remember. Oh no, it's ER 932. That's what it actually is. ER 932. Pitchfork, man with the hand on his hip with his leg sticking out, circle with a hook, a pair of bosoms, and a hook with a flat bottom. That was the description that I wrote down. Pitcher with the handle? Yeah. Um, how anybody is going to figure that out though, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Do you think Nice could eventually learn how to how it's supposed to be said? Um, probably. It, well, because he would know what letters and numbers are, and he would know how to say them. He just doesn't know how to write them. So I think he could slowly learn how to recognize his own telegram number or Millie's telegram number or anything like that. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be able to learn how to read and write.
He would just memorize. Yeah, he'd just learn. Just like yeah, just learn what it is. I just got an axe now. I can throw it. I can swing it. And I can put it away. There's no white horses. So they open fire on said group. Facebook mini would use it to test money for medicine and stuff. Oh my god. Oh, you are on mini uh, on Nash's side. Uh give me a second, because I am seeing like frame stutters. Let me do this. Wait, am I hobo fella? Nash would do anything for me. I don't think he would do anything. That loyalty is not quite there. At the very least, if we ever lose anything, I can go to a bank and I'll have a dollar and an axe so I can just go chop wood again. Uh, general store. I think it's the saloon here. He wouldn't like uh, medicine too or alcohol. No, I don't think he would. I don't know where I sell any of this stuff. Sure, like the cocaine paint. No, he just like being tickled. We can't sell that here. So you can't sell alcohol. You can just have alcohol.
I think the doctor wants to buy it. Give it to people, I guess. Yeah, that's my thought. I'm only, you know, two and three, so I'm pretty young. Uh, howdy, Gherkin. H O W D I E. Like, howdy, mister, but not with a Y. I'm going to telegram your sister and let her okay. know you're back around. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dark Jesse. Dog Jesse was in it? What the hell? There was a lot of horses here. Poppy didn't taste no good either. Nah. I don't know. Poppy Miss Millie didn't taste no good. Is there two saloons? Oh, yeah, no, I remember this. This is the one where you go to get the missions about the gunslingers. We can't sell any of this. Okay, that's fine. We're doing something new. We don't want to travel at night. We've learned that. Actually, have we learned that? No, I just, I think I know that. I don't know. If... Is this the game? Or... No, this is soundtrack. Uh, sorry, this is uh, yeah, music that I'm playing. Where do we think little Miss Millie would be? She's not a Valentine. I also can't remember where I left off. Interesting during the mining trip. Uh, 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 what? Uh, what now? Uh, we're doing a mining trip out to Gap Tooth with Way Industries. About to leave from out in front of the stables right there. We've got a carriage ready to go. And then anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars on one of these trips. Just two hours. I don't, I don't even know how much. Uh, five hundred dollars? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Uh, and you, you, you say I have to mine in? Well, yeah, you have to do the mining, you have to do the work to earn the money, but yeah. What, 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 what did mining do? You just swing a pickaxe at a wall, and you get some uh, pretty rocks, and you go and sell those rocks, and make a lot of money. Oh, I could, I could swing a tree, I could swing a rock. I, I, I like banging rock. You like banging rocks? I like Maybe. banging rock. Maybe this is for you then. If you, uh, if you feel like making some money, we're about to leave. Uh, we've got about five minutes, maybe. I, I, I'm taking right. that wagon right there. I just get on the wagon, or do, or do I gotta oh, bring yeah, yeah. You, you might need to uh, bring a little bit of cash to pick up, like a pickaxe and a and a gem pouch. It'll cost you about thirty bucks to get those things ready to go. But... Oh, I, I don't, I don't think I got thirty bucks. All right, never mind. Uh, someone will probably be able to to loan you the money so you can get started, and then uh, yeah, uh, completely up to you. You get a twenty five dollar paycheck just for coming along. Uh, all right, I, I, I guess I can, I can bash, 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 some, bash some rock. Yeah, there you go. I mean, yeah, you definitely built the bash some rocks. Look here. You're massive man. Nah, uh, they, they used to call me strong man. <laughs> strong man? What was your name, sorry? Nash. They, they call me Nash. Nash. All right. Uh, all what, right what's, what's y'all, what's y'all name? Uh, my name's William Halfway, and this here is uh, Andrew Miller. And the other gentleman is the owner of the company, Mr. Zhang Wei. He's uh, he's just over there at the moment, but he'll be coming back. Ah, uh, uh, pl pl pleasure to meet 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 you, Bill. Yeah, 
Pleasure to meet you too, Nash. <laughs> I'm gonna say hello to Mr. Miller. How much money do we have? I have. Yeah, he's joining us, I think, for the trip. He, uh, he doesn't have any of the stuff to uh, to work just yet, so we'll need a pickaxe and a gem pouch, etc. But all right, yeah, we'll, we'll get him taken care yeah. of. All right, Nash, nice pleasure. Oh, it's, oh, it's a split, split pleasure to meet you, sir. <laughs> right, let me see if uh, Mr. Way's ready. Maybe we'll uh, shove off. All right. A mission, a friend. That's about to get robbed of every dome he has, isn't he? You ever ridden in one of these before, Nash? Ah, uh, ah, uh, we we used to use all these all the time in the circus. Oh, you're in the circus. Yeah, they, they, they call me strong, strong win. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> well, Mr. Way, you, uh, you ready to head out? I just get on. How do I get on the. Uh... A little call. I'm, I'm gonna get my vest from Flop. I don't, don't want to leave Flop with my vest. Yep. Flop. Yeah, yeah. Before we leave, you might actually want to just go and tell the stable boy to come and collect your horse because you may need him later on. So, uh, Aww. just be good to, uh, to have the stable boy kind of have him ready and bring him out west for you. you uh, all right, that, 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 that sounds yeah. smart. All right. What if I gave you a oh. oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry there. Yes, I am. No, no, I have no idea how to do what he's just suggested. What does he want me to do? Okay, that makes sense. Away. Hello there, Mr. William. Hello, Mr. Nash. How are you? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm okay. How, how are you? I'm doing just fine, baby. Oh my god. Who's yeah. Who puts that fucking whole horse right there? God damn, small away. Alright, off to the west. Gonna need a mining pick and some of the basic supplies, but we'll get this sorted in tumbleweed. Sounds good to me. Is this our first mining trip there, Mr. Nash? Yeah, I've I'm, I'm never been mining before. I've I never even heard of it. Oh, I see. Well, mining, ruling work for strong men and strong women without their purpose. To cultivate the crop that which is bountiful in the earth. Pretty much we're going to be spending some time out there in Capitol's Mine, which is right over there in Washington. We'll be mining at the once they commission mine, probably open to the public, under the umbrella of White Industries. 
Today, we're going to be guaranteed many of the guaranteed of the come up for it. So many people who are going to be there in the exact same place because they are there for the exact same reason you are. That is to make money. And even more important, the amount of people and personalities you will meet as well will be very good for your journey here with inside the Posse. You do a step forward. On top of that, as soon as you enter the portal of the mine over here, you will get a $25 paycheck. Not too many businesses and jobs out there, the only workers are walking into the actual establishment themselves. But let's check again. For two hours, you're going to cultivate the resource, and you're going to make anywhere from $400 to $700 for just two hours worth of work. How's that sound, Ash? I don't think I ever used an umbrella before, but I, I don't mind working under an umbrella. <laughs> well, overall, I believe today is going to be a good day, life changing pay for you. A new job, new people. The folks are making for good time. And William, how was your day today? Oh, I'm doing okay, Mr. Way. How about yourself? Okay. I'm okay. Busy up to my neck. People work. I'm glad to be out and be able to come out this tools thing. Thank God. Welcome back, Lolita. I haven't seen many of the others around recently, you know. Pop ahead or, or uh, Miss Charlotte. I believe Miss Charlotte heads in business up north. And yeah. Fei Long is uh, in China at the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, so people are just happen to be very busy around all of Portions and corners of this thing. You, you ever met little Millie? Little Millie. Can't see it ahead. She, 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 she with Aber and Lamnade and Cashew. Is that Adelaide? Yeah, le Lemonade. No, not, not Lemonade. Adelaide. I, that's why I, I said. Right. Yes, Adelaide. Okay. So, many things around the scout and Wallaby Kid, all them. I, I don't know. I just. I, I met little Millie and I've been looking for little Millie ever since, but I ain't, I ain't seen her. see Miss Millie, I will let you know who we're about. Oh, thank, thank you, Phil. No worries. And what does this Miss Millie look like? Oh, uh, she, she, she real, real tiny. She got little, little waist, uh, flat back hair. Flat back hair? Hair color? Uh, black. And it, it got fla flowers in it. In a in a, in a braid at, at the back. Interesting. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know what she looks like. Never made the search for these yet. She real nice. Is the hair black? I, I can't remember. I think it was black. Who's dark? I hope that nice trait isn't necessarily a trait that is only head for you, but walking into a trip here. I, I believe so. I only met her once. Uh. Is it red? Not that way. Is it red? I'm mostly thinking of her when we go in flower picking, which is when it was dark. 
so i imagine that because it was dark i couldn't couldn't see what a actual haircut it was uh yeah there's lots of people waiting in pdq all the time jesus Enter. Let me feel take the range for me. Sure. What, what are the horses names? The horses names are here. Oh. Have fun with this one there, Andrew. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. This, uh, this particular wagon I picked up down at the, uh, wagon rental in Saint Denis. I usually put Whatever fresh horses they have in front of the wagon. I, I think that Mildred and Thomas. Pretty good guess. Sounds like a pretty strong horse name to me. <laughs> I like Mildred and Thomas. <laughs> Maybe when we return to Saint Denis, we can uh, we can ask, them, see what they say. They should know the names of their horses. Uh, they they they've been real helpful to us. It it be real nice to know their name. It's very true. It's very true. <laughs> but I will make sure to uh, I'll make sure to ask them down at the stables when we return it the car. If you're with us all the way down there after the shift, uh, please uh, please remind me. All right. I'll 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 I'll, I'll remember. Good. My my memory sharp like an axe. Always good to have a good memory, right? Sure, but <laughs> I'm real intelligent. I can launch a missile if I real try hard. I can't wait for that to get tested. That'll be get tested as soon as we arrive. Cause I'll just be like, I don't remember any of y'all names. This, this one is, is whoa. Mr. William, were you able to uh, oh, get a hold of Bill? Uh, Bill William? We, we, I, was, we, um, I was going to talk to you guys about we, it. Actually. Will I am. <laughs> um, will I am. Yeah, it was, I don't think I did so well. Will and am and and, and, and whoa right. and Mr. Right. Some not, some she's not interested. We go the other route, right? That's exactly what I said. Um, she did point out some some flaws in uh, the Barashi Barton's model, which uh, I just wanted to run by Mr. Way and see if uh, see if maybe I just got nah, the boss, how I was selling them. Yeah, I'm sure you can talk to him whilst we're in the mine and we can figure that out, but if he actually has no interest in that, let's see if Mr. Way wants to go the other way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's uh she's still wanting to go for gems regardless, so. Would Nash know gems? Would he understand gems? I think he understands the concept of gold. Because I still think that like gold would be something that would be talked about i still think that gold would be something that was desired and probably accessible and the people around him would have had gold and silver but i don't think he would have fully understood gems oh you don't need anything in town uh the, the one in the blue is way some time. this is william running a little bit behind but I remember the one on the top right. Gems are just shiny rocks. Yeah, and he just likes the sound of the rocks make when you bash them together. Oh, 
Oh, uh, we tried to come to a Ramadillo. Yeah, I think he would he would understand gems. He just wouldn't Let's see we got folk waiting for us out of the mine today or in Tumbleweed. I saw um uh, saw Maeve down in in Rhodes, but Yeah, Maeve doesn't really find the time to mine much anymore. Yeah. She was away for quite some time as well. She can you just go back? Yeah, I heard she had some bad news with her return, so I wasn't about to bother her for work, you know? Yeah, yeah, she had to find out about, uh, Paddy. She, uh, she walked right up to Malone and punched him in the face. Hmm, well... And then she got jumped on by four deputies and taken into the office. Yeah, he would have understand understood uh, it in that that regard. I only I only saw the man one time, and he was standing on the steps to the sheriff's office, spewing obscenities at Malone. So, yeah, that sounds like Patty. But my understanding is Malone retired. Yeah. Yeah, but uh I think everyone else's understanding is that you know, he killed a guy who should be in Sisica. Killed a guy for ever words. Paddy's not a violent man, or you know he was at one stage, but I'm pretty sure he didn't even carry a gun around, you know. I don't know the whole story behind all of that. Yeah. I don't know, I guess I knew Paddy long enough to know that he's all words and... <laughs> oh, what's the phrase? All bark and no bite. And, uh... Yeah, I guess my own... ...wasn't horrible enough of that. And... Yeah, it ended up in Paddy dying. Oh, what happened? Did he shoot him or something? I clocked him over the head with a gun, but had he had so many previous head injuries, it just that was enough to do it. Well, he's never going to get locked out for that. Should probably yeah. be more aware of who the hell you plant on. Yeah, exactly. It's just taken a yeah, head related injury death. I've heard of in the past, what, like months now? Mm hmm. A lot of diverse foods. No, I mean, there's three, because. Didn't Castle die as well from being hit with the butt of a rifle? My oh, yeah. god. Never fucking stops, does it? No. The endless cycle of unnecessary violence. Agreed. Alright, let me go ahead and grab your pickaxe there, Nash. Um, if you could, could you grab him a gem pouch there, Andrew? Yes, sir. I already had one. Oh. I'll be right back. Alright, but now it needs water. It's too awful, sure nice. Grab it now. Yeah, I'll be honest, they were all chatting and I was like, I'm listening. I'm just not retaining this information. Because I completely missed what name they said. So then after that, I was just like, I don't know what the hell. He's totally a writer and nothing weird. Exactly. All right, Mr. Nish, your tool of destruction for the day. I hope it brings you nothing but luck, my friend. Nothing but. Ah, uh, th thank you, Wall. You're more than welcome, Mr. Nish. Make yourself comfortable when you have all your things. 
They are all, all, all awfully kind. They are indeed. Really good people to know here in the crossing. How long you been around here, then, Nash? Oh, only a, a couple of, couple of days. Okay. How are you finding it? It's uh, awfully scary, and the animal it oh, it ain't as nice as the ones from the circus. Bear especially it was very aggressive. And, and yeah. the, the doggies, they, 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 they upset poor Flop. They what, sorry? They upset poor, poor Flop, my, my horse. Oh, yeah. You mean the wolves? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I met a nice ranger and she, she picked me up. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, you gotta be careful of wolves. You'll, uh... You kind of learn where you can, you'll find them eventually. You know, you'll always be ready for them. I didn't want to hurt them, but I had, I had, I had to kick them. Yeah, yeah. Didn't All help right. none. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Uh... You always seem to forget that they kept you company and kept you warm for 30 minutes. That's true, they did do that. This looks like what Nevada looks like. Oh my god, it's so. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. We are here. Here we are. <sighs> Hello there, sir. How are you? Everybody, let's get those uh, big cases over here. We got Jib here. What's that? Fantastic mess. All right, so welcome to the mine. Since you have stepped foot into this portal here, you are guaranteed a $25 paycheck. Now, would you go in the door? Find yourself a nice little sweet spot on one of these walls of any of your liking. Again, the more that you're around other folks and individuals, the more you get to enjoy their camaraderie. Um, again, Andrew, oh, yeah. William, Jeb behind you, we're all a part of our, of our people, will be here with you as well. So, and I will be here right beside you, also hitting the, hitting the walls as soon as I can. Hey, Mrs. Hatherwick, man. Oh, oh, okay. Hello, hello. Uh, just... Mr. Hatherway. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Is this one of your workers off of your shift there, Mr. Hatherway? Oh, no. Um, Mrs. Cutter was just here uh, the other day when we were uh, we were mining. Oh, excuse me for being so assumpt presumptuous. Hello there, darling. Oh. Zheng Wei, no, hello, hello. You. Pleasure. Pleasure indeed. Well, um, gentlemen, don't let me stop you here. Time is of the essence. Go ahead and get to work. Of course. I, uh, I just need to speak this kind of Hello there, my lady. How are you? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Is that you? Yep. Joel? Oh, good. Yep. Then I don't have to send a telegram. Fantastic. Oh, I just... 
I'll just I'll just hit it like this. Yep. Mm. All right. All right. Bring it in. Just doing mining RP. I don't like I don't like the use of that other word. Jesus, busy day. Hitting the yeah. beam? Yeah, I didn't know what I didn't know I don't know what the What did I get? I got ammo light. I wanna go somewhere where I'm not hitting the yeah, where I'm not hitting the Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm not that all over. Oh, this man off awful deep. Oh, I don't like this scary. All right, Mr. Nash, let's uh, show you how all this works. By all means, you're more than welcome to come and uh, mine with us just up here so we can chat. But uh, I've got something for you here. I found rhubarb. Uh, yep. Yeah, just uh, take this. That's uh, something that anything you, you pull from the mine here will fit inside of that. So you can, oh, you can keep uh, okay. your things in there rather than filling your pockets completely. And even once you do fill that bag, uh, you can probably go put it on your saddlebags on your horse. Just because uh, so, it's going to weigh you down a bit, you know. Most of the stuff you get from oh. here is a bit heavy, so you're going to want to be able to put that away somewhere. Rocks so you can keep on mining heavy. afterwards. Yep, they do. So you're going to pull a, a bunch of different things out of the wall here. Um, the first things that you can, uh, the first things are fluorite and amylite. They're uh, like a flux used to run the furnaces and and heat things up uh, to to work with metals and such. So those those are just going to be sold to the general store. You have three dollars a piece for amylite and fluorite. Uh, the next thing you'll pull out of the wall is flint. Now what you can do with flint is uh, you take a single piece of flint, you go pick up five sticks, and uh, in your satchel there you're going to be able to make uh, a torch. And a torch can be sold to the general store for five dollars. Uh, sorry, not the general store, the gun store. So you take torches over to the gun store, you sell them five dollars a piece. Uh, if you aren't the kind of person that wants to run around picking up sticks to, to do that work afterwards, you can also sell the flint to anyone on the shift. Uh, most people will pay you $2 for it, whereas the general store will only give you one. So never sell your flint to the general store. You'll always be able to find someone who will pay you more. All right. Okay. So that's the flint, flora, and amylite. I and like the other sticks. thing. Oh, there you go. If you're uh, happy to pick up sticks, then you're going to be able to make a lot of money off of torches. Um, the last thing you're going to pull is precious stones, uh, gems. So you can find in this mine rubies, sapphires, diamonds, and emeralds. In that order is their value, um, and you'll be able to sell those to Mr. Way after the shift and get the maximum amount of money and then some. Never sell gems to the general store. You'll always be able to find someone who will pay you more. And Mr. Way is one of those people. So yeah, you'll be able to uh, make some good money off of rubies, Sapphires, diamonds, and emeralds. Uh, but you know, they're a, they're a little more rare, so mostly you're going to find the fluoride, amylite, and flint. Now, That's everything you'll be finding. So, uh, by all means, just uh, step up to one of these walls here and uh, start swinging your pick, and you're going you're gonna to find uh, some goods. All uh, right, Mr. William, you, you, you say a lot, a lot of words. I don't know what those rocks look like. What, what, what color would they be? Oh, they, um, most of them are just just rocks. You'll uh, I can show them to you. So let me grab a piece of each real quick, and I'll uh, show them to you so you know what they look like. Okay. Well, I just I don't know how I'm gonna know what the animalite <laughs> and the ruby yeah. how they gonna be different. Well, um, actually, I might have some on my horse outside, so I'll be able to show you those. Let me just grab a piece of fluorite, a piece of amalite, and a piece of flint, and uh, I'll be able to show you exactly what they look like okay 
Uh, by all means, just start swinging so you can start grabbing things from the wall. I know, I'll, I'll start swinging a lot best and best and I like the noise it makes. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I was just trying to RP the fact that, that Nash has no idea what any of those words mean and you're just saying shit <laughs> Now you're just gonna be like I don't know the difference between an Amorite and a Ruby or what an Emerald is and a fl like a Flint is <laughs> you, you're gonna have to <laughs> From Winston to Nash. Y'all learn some today. Yeah, I'm gonna learn. And um, what, what, what would I do with all this, this money? Well, you can buy yourself um, some nice guns, some nice horses. Oh, I like horses. I ain't ever shoot no gun. Yeah, I'm not so good with the guns either. I'll, I just keep them on me just in case I run into wild animals, to be honest. But yeah, I'm not so good with those. Good to have them and not need them, then need them and not have them, though. How does he keep going? Okay, Nash, just as soon as you're done swinging in this one, I can show you what amylite and fluoride looks like. Oh, all right. Here you go. So, this first one I show you is uh, this is the fluoride. It's kind of got green and purple uh, like layers. Like throughout. Oh, I like that. That 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 look real nice. Yeah, that's um. But I mean, it is just like I say. It's a it's a flux used for the furnaces. So uh, it's only worth three dollars. But the general store will buy all of that off of you. This next one's kind of got rainbow colored scales. Here you go. It's a. Uh, that's oh, amylite. I have some of those. I like these are pretty. Yep. There you go. I should, I should put them in my mouth like new teeth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> maybe, maybe someone could do that for you. Maybe uh, find a dentist. <laughs> I'd like that. Mm. <laughs> and uh, the other stuff is just flint. You know, it's it's just uh, a regular little kind of. Well, this it's a stone. It's here. just a little. Yep, that's it. It's just a oh, stone. Right. But, uh, yep, you can uh, you can use that to make the the torches. You know. So that's everything you're going to find regularly and then all the other bits are, are gems let me just go and grab one of each of the gems and i'll show you what they look like so uh, if you find one you'll know about it okay oh, th thank thank you william <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i almost made him break there almost made him break a broken rainbow already I'll just keep slapping these rocks. I love this guy. Yeah, he's been real, real nice. I think it's, it's not going to take too long to, um, pay all these people back.
What is that? How's the rest of the patrol? The rest of the patrol was good. I rode with Thatch most of the time. Thatch was a lot of fun. I love riding with Thatch. Okay, Nash. I'll show you these real quick as soon as you're done. All right, this first one is a ruby. Now, this is it in its raw form before you've kind of cut it into a into a nice intricate shape. Oh, it's nice and red. I, yep. I think my Muma used to have one of those. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, uh, this one in particular, the general store will only pay you $15 for this. But once it's cut, they pay you twice as much. So it's uh, $30 for one of these once they're cut. However, at Way Industries, you sell it to us, we pay you $35 a, a gem. So you get more from us, and we pay you $35 even in this form, you know? You don't have to get a cut. We can do that ourselves. Oh, so my. That's, uh, yeah, after the shift, you'll be able to trade all of these in for just pure cash. Why, uh, so why would I cut it? So cutting it just it increases the value, you know? So if, uh, if you were wanting to sell it to the general store at any point, you know, if someone wasn't around and you couldn't get the money that you needed desperately, you could just sell it to the general store for twice the value if it was cut. Oh, all right. This one is a sapphire. Oh, so, that's real nice. Yeah, these ones are worth $18, $36 if they're cut, and Way Industries will pay you $40 just straight like this in that form right there. Okay? That's real pretty. I want one of those. <laughs> you may get one today. This one here is a diamond. These ones are worth $25 in this form, but once they're cut, they're worth $50, and Way Industries will pay you $60. That, that just looked like glass. Yeah, it kind of does, yeah. Uh, it's a real nice gemstone. So uh, I believe it's one of the hardest substances on Earth. I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here you go. Here's the final one. This is, uh, this is the rarest of gems. This is an emerald. Oh, that's um, real pretty. Yeah, in this form it's worth fifty dollars, but once it's cut, it's worth a hundred dollars, and Way Industries will pay you one hundred and twenty. I like an emerald. Yeah, real nice gems. So keep your eye out for those. Those are the four kind of gems that you can find here in the mines, and that's the form that they'll they'll appear in. You know, so you can keep an eye out for those and uh, try and make a lot of extra money if you find emeralds or or diamonds. Hey, thank you, William. I'll I'll look for the green, blue, the <laughs> glass, and the red. Yeah. All right. Good, good. All right. I'm going to go stick these away and then I'll be back in to join you in the mining. All right. Go to Moppy. That's the fluorite, okay. I think it's just gonna be a nice. I hope we asked for his tell. Oh no! We found out that Nash likes blue and green. He loved the rainbow more. Rainbow was his favorite one, I think. He wants to make teeth out of rainbow. God, if he asked me my telegram number, that's going to be so silly.
What does Nash want to do to Rainbow? No, is in uh <laughs> God damn it, Kyle. No. Uh He likes the rainbow gems. Out of context, we're within context. Nash doesn't know who Rainbow is. How you mean anyway, Jim? What? How you been? I feel like it's been a week since I saw you again. Um, yeah, not too bad. Sorry, you guys are taking it out of context. There's no way for that to be at in context. Uh, oh. uh, auction, if you're still interested. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's happening on the 14th, I believe, at 8 p.m. Uh, we're not going to know the location until like a day or two before that. Yeah, so what? It's like a week from now. Yeah, that's it. All right. I believe you said 8 p.m. It might be 9 p.m. So it'll be um, probably uh, the shift will either get cut short or it won't happen that night. All right. Yeah. I'm a bit tipsy. Double already. You're on your second. Oh, okay. You're excused. Here we go. I know uh shadow. Shadow. Why did I say shadow? Throw myself off now. There's a, a spring for you were interested in, right? Mm hmm. Full time. And as far as I'm aware, there's at least two available on the night. Alrighty. Here we go. Jack Wonder, which is 100 proof? I don't know what that is. I guess it just depends how deep your pockets are looking right now. <sighs> how bad is yeah, this? I mean, uh... How bad does this sound? He wants to make teeth out of right. rainbow. Just don't want to spend too much on it. Well, okay, that's not as bad as I thought it thought it would sound. Yeah, I just been a little bit inconsistent with coming around. Yeah, that's good. He needs a break every now and then. Yeah, whiskey villa. Yep. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you caught up with Faye at all? Yeah, send it to her now. Uh, well, I, I tried the other day. Um, she sent me a telegram saying she wanted to, so I sent one back, told her I'd be hunting for uh, probably an hour or so, and then that hour passed, and then I went back towards Valentine, and then some stuff came up, so I had to head to the house. There was, uh, there was two of them down in the roads when I left tonight. Two phase. Oh, boy. One fucking shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about, uh, that one that, well, I think I met her at Rhodes first, but then you're talking about that one that we met in Coulter. Oh, no. No, no, I mean there was two Fae Duns. Like, okay. Um, Unless you took a real good look at her face, you wouldn't have been able to tell that it wasn't her. So, okay, I got two theories. Mm -hmm. Either she's got another female friend that decided it'd be fun, or the second but worst theory is it's a male friend who decided to do the same thing. Or either one of those correct. I have no idea. Because when I sent her a telegram asking her what the hell was going on, because this person wouldn't speak to me, but they wrote notes and said that Faye knew about it, they had a sore throat, so um, they were going to make weird farty noises at me, but that's the only way they were communicating, because their throat hurt. Mm -hmm. So they proceeded to do that. It was very strange. Yeah. And then I telegrammed Faye just to be like, what the hell's going on? There's someone here dressed as you. And Faye telegrammed me back just saying, what? from Armadillo and then she arrived like 10 minutes later she must have bolted like lightning from Armadillo to get to Rhodes 
And then suddenly she's just agreeing with this person, just saying, yeah, I hired an assassin and she makes fart noises because she lost a bet. All the things that this person had told me, she just agreed with. And uh... But this person knew who I was because they called me by name when I first walked into the general store, so... You don't it's... think you're slack. Uh... The only thing I can think of is like lady, maybe. She's got red hair, don't she? Oh no, they purposely had their hair done exactly like Faye. Oh, good lord. Like, they were 100% accurate, like their outfit and the hair. Um, alright. It was very confusing. Well, uh, fun fact. Well, I won't say fact. Apparently, uh, I was told earlier that uh, Armadillo has experienced a cholera outbreak. They did mention that too, actually, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You are, do you know much about how to avoid that? Uh, avoid armadillo is the easy answer. Gotcha. All right. But things uh, going back and forth to armadillo. She literally came and spoke to me right up in my face. So I she mean, got back from armadillo. I assume when she was in armadillo, she's probably wearing a mask or something. But I'm not really a uh, cholera expert, so. As far as I can tell, I think it's like something to do with the lungs and, or maybe the throat. I, I can't remember. But yeah, uh, James Kelly told me. <laughs> oh shit, you ran into James Kelly? Unintentionally, yeah. I was, I was uh, taking a little break from here a couple hours ago and at first I thought it was Mills because it sounded kind of like him and then uh, I was sending a telegram and he walked up and he was like, hey, uh, I'd, I'd stay at Armadillo if I were you. And so, I mean, in my brain, I figured that was a heads up. Something was about to happen. So I just said, all right, see you later. And then as I was walking away, he was like, oh, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing. And then I was like, hey, it ain't not bother me. And then he told me who he was and I was like, oh, all right. Did you say howdy, motherfucker, when he rode up on you? Uh, yeah. yeah These sure people did. swear a lot. Yep, that's how he knows him. Yep. It's the thing I always find really yeah. surprising is they so, swear a lot. That was interesting. Hmm. Everyone does? Yeah, I don't, I just don't, I don't know if that would be common. Why does a Nash swear? I just, I don't think swearing would have been that. Yeah, it's probably, that would have been really um, frowned upon. I'd say maybe like, probably a little over two hours now. Didn't like hurt or anything? He wasn't injured? Uh, from what I could tell, no. He was, the American uh, one. Yeah, yeah, but like, uh, I imagine they'd be saying things like. I wrote up on Telegram Station. And bastard, then probably. He wrote up behind me. And, um. Uh, just gave me that little warning. Asked me if I had a mask. Yellow no. belly. Yeah, that would make sense. And, and Things yeah, like that. Said, Cuss words like that would make more There's sense. But... Outbreak, so. It's, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I've got an odd so interpretation said, hey, of the era. I couldn't I imagine somebody Benedict walking Port in and going, Yeehaw, motherfucker. <laughs> Imagine Nash just being like so upset. But mommy, yeah. ma, do the yo. Oh, oh, fuck, no. Oh, oh, do nothing like that. No, no more mothers. Shit. What happened? Oh, god damn. Not another thing going on. Cursing was an integral part of the cr Okay, I want I want to have a I want to look at what swear words would have been uh frontier swear words Frontier cursing notes on the frontier 
Let's face it, the Wild West is an example of what happens when testosterone is completely unfettered. Sociologists have discussed how violence... Um... Now, violence usually fueled by alcohol was a major theme in the frontier life. Language, too, was a part of male posturing, and rough language was used to demonstrate toughness. So guns or other weapons wouldn't have to be used, but of course, language also played... Uh, caused plenty of gunplay. Mm. The great TV series yep. Deadwood has often been criticized for its copious use of profanity of the worst vi var variety. Sorry. Specifically, oh. the F word and its many, many variants. Great debates have fled yeah, over this issue, some almost now. intellectual, some less so. David Milch, the creator of Deadwood, maintained that cussing was a central part of the early frontier, especially in the toughest towns in the West, like Deadwood and Tombstone. And he is adamant that the particularly naughty words his potty mouth TV characters use are absolutely authentic. Yeah. Jesse Scheidhauer, the American editor of the Oxford yeah, uh, English Dictionary and author of the scholarly yeah, volume, yeah, the yeah. F word begs to differ. There were cursing contests when cowboys would get together and insult each other, but the evidence that we have is that they were using more religious blasphemy than sexual insults, which are popular today. The F word used as an intensifier wasn't no, used commonly in the United sure States until good. World War One. So the 43 times the F word was blurted in one Deadwood episode was inauthentic. Uh, da, 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 F word dates back to the 1400s. Comes from Germanic language, yeah. Fiken, Borken, Norwegian Fuka, Swedish Fokker, and Fok. Certainly, other vulgar nasties were also used yeah, on the frontier, like the one that like. also means rooster, the one that starts with a C and rhymes with stunt. Or the one that sounds like manhole but starts with an A. Looked over this line. Did I miss a line? I, I'm like breezing through it. Uh, in the obscenity, West was indeed. Where was that? Uh, I just tried to have F words. Dead words. Nope. Striking. No, I didn't. New language. Uh, in it, he says the obscenity of the West was indeed striking, but his obscenity of mine comes. It's unbelievable. Okay. So what language I said to... They'd be surprised. They might say, I set to frumping him for a shani. Why did I say that in a slight... Slight, uh... Irish accent. Which meant I made fun of him as a fool, accusing someone of rumbunctuous monkey shines meant they were trying to trick folks, calling someone a flannel-mouthed, chiseling, chuckle-headed, gadabout cuff coffee boiler. Meant that they were a no-good, smooth-talking, dishonest, ignorant, jaw-flapping, lazy ass. A rag propered lick fingers was an overdressed ass kisser. Saloon vernacular was especially colorful. A dabster lapper of raucous juice was an expert whiskey drinker. Whiskey itself had more names than ants on a June bug. Red Eye, OB Joyful, Scamper Juice, Family Disturbance, Tarantula Juice, Prairie Juice, Coffin Varnish, Clinch Mountain, Sheep Dip, Washy Stingo was weak beer, Hoot House, Black Water was coffee. Last week, then it's kind of back to. Yeah, we only had three of us on Sunday night. See, that's what I'm thinking. Like Yellow Belly, Dabster Lapper, Rockus Joy Juice. I actually have no idea. I haven't seen Cuphead since. I like the the, the frumping him for a shanny. Yeah, I haven't either. It was uh. Those are the type of insults that I want to like. Say now, just that, because of that. I don't know. I think like I I, I don't imagine. I, I mean, I mean okay. Like, fine, maybe maybe you know, saying fuck was acceptable he was and fine. Lead out the ship next week, so I hope he does. Religious religious swear words I can one hundred percent imagine. I just I don't know. I Hearing the word nice motherfucker design. just sounded. I, I the just I'm just imagining Samuel L. Jackson, okay? Around the mining shift. Just imagining Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. It still happens at the same time as the mining shift on a Monday. Wait, well, you can't be asked to go four shifts a week anyway. I'll break your back. <laughs> yeah, I used to do five shifts with the stool, but I've uh, cut Valentine off for the time being, so I only do three shifts on the stool now as well. When you. Not doing Valentine anymore? No, Valentine is just always a bust. Yeah, it seems like everybody there either don't want to spend their money or they're just flat broke. It's more so the location.
location of the stall, I guess. I mean, I yeah. could move how I did it, but that stall has always been the way I did it. And everyone just jumps the barrier after hitching their horse, and they don't actually come over and see me standing there. Yeah. yeah. So, um... Nurse Pierce Warriors over her general miles yell to his men, charge them to hell, a bemused Nez Pierce fighter adept in English, cursing, taunted, charge, hell, you sons of bitches, you aren't fighting, goddamn, see you. Nez Pierce laughter and whoops erupted from rifle pits across the hillsides. In an odd way, both cultures were strangely touched that the other side had bothered to learn profanity. You digging out all the gemstones? I'm staring at these lol proxies and i'm not listening to the bashing a lot the noise of the bashing i ain't found no pretty pretty rocks though sir well sometimes it takes a little while for luck to happen uh, i always like to go ahead sir i do i do lot the rainbow wall no it is real nice it, you saw a dentist can make me some teeth with these? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not they sure probably, strong they'd be. I probably could, but... Yeah, I don't know if they'd be that strong. Well, not only that. You know, might like... Might not be compatible with your gums and all that, you know? It's I make you sick. Yeah, it's very true. Oh, that make me sad. I'll just keep them in a bag. How are we doing? Hello, gentlemen. All right. Man, the Nez Pierce were such badasses. Oh, when the Americans tried to relocate man. their tribe to a reservation, right. they fucking Maybe ran and we'll fought their way to the now. Canadian borders Not to get away. Outside. They had to surrender when more and more of them kept dying. Oh. Well, oh. Oh, a diamond. Mm -hmm. Which I bet you he did. Be smart. If he smart. Mm -hmm. Oh, we 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 I am. I found I found some glass. Oh, there you go. One of the diamonds, right? Uh -uh. What color is it? Is it just clear? It it looked like glass. I don't know why it it, it precious, but it it looked like glass. Yep. yep. Hey, want to hold on to that? Want to hold on to that? Can we get a a collective how in the mine? How? How? Yeah, just like that. How is a Chinese term, it means good. We uh, we always call it out and celebrate when we find something precious in the rock. All right, I'll I'll make I'll make sure I say that it if every time. <laughs> very good, Like saying good mind, thank you. Yeah, it is kind of cute. I love this little group. Yeah. So, William, have you heard what's happening out on Guarma now then? After all this? Chief Joseph, their leader, gave a um, speech about how yeah. his children were possibly dead in the hills and famously yeah, said, I will fight no more forever. I did have uh, quite a nice um, oh. thing delivered to me oh. yesterday, though. Oh. 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 In the document oh. folder oh. full of oh. Edgar's telegrams. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, we've uh, 
we need to return it to the person who delivered it to us. So um, I'll, uh, we, we've copied them down into a book, so I'll, I'll let you take a look in the book at some point. Well, Nothing uh, crazy interesting, but one of the telegrams was from Delilah. Mm, yeah, all right. I know you're not a great friend of that lady. I had to get my history teacher hat out. No, I'm I'm liking it. Please, please give us more. About a week or so I know that it's uh, often taught in American schools. Together in as well. Oh, I see. Mm. And it lines up with what the telegram was about. Oh. Well, probably wise to stay clear of Guarma then. Yeah, for the time being, definitely. Well, I've been there one time. It might have been one time too many. The expansion out west was not. Yeah, I know about that much. I know that I did much. Hear that this whole meeting, though, that they had out there, there were a lot more people than just. You know, Edgar and Kelly and the, the Dapper. It's been over the same stuff over and over again. Just get more into it. Yeah, there was a, the trail. Is it the Trail of Tears? Um, well, the news reporters. There were at least for a while. There were law out there. I but I was told, trying to think. What's the other? What's the yeah. other like? Sheriff Rabbit, supposedly. Wow. Okay. I guess, yeah, without any kind of jurisdiction. The Red River? Need to stop what was happening. Nope. Nope. So, but that's what I heard. Sheriff Rabbit. But it was news reporters. Uh, at least I didn't. We just went through the summer uh, getting in more into the gruesome stuff later on, especially since they made treaties with the U.S. government that were repeatedly oh, broken. Trail of Tears was the Native Americans. Trail of Tears is an example of one. I haven't heard that either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of people. It wasn't just Kelly either. I guess he arrived on the island, you know, eight man deep. Eight. Jesus. Okay. Yep. Eight man I know deep. He had the gang with him, but I didn't know it was that that many of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually, I uh, heard Rude Boy Rudy was in a coma, but I'm pretty sure that was him who walked past us a little while ago. Oh yeah, that that was Mr. Rudy right there. So probably not. Uh, Probably not true. Couldn't have been too serious if he was. Nope. Why they call him a rude boy? <laughs> you know, he calls himself that yeah. for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Did he's trying to make a name for himself, you know? Does he curse a lot? Does he, he does actually. disrespect yeah, he does. his Mooma? Maybe. Yeah, I don't think they I don't think they respect a lot, to be completely honest with you, but I don't think he should be proud of disrespecting his Mooma. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't like no. <laughs> There's a little break there. There's a little break there. Sad. <laughs> uh, a strange one. Kind of uh, angry. You know. Oh. Uh. I don't say being a angry. That's why I taught horses. They listen good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, a lot going on right now. I don't know. I try to stay clear of all of it. The U.S. government also stole native children from the tribes and sent them to schools, forcing them to assimilate in the ways of the white man. Yeah, they did this in Australia as well. 
They didn't fit him in the tribe anymore, so they didn't fit in uh, a white society. Um, yeah, they would, they would force um, Aboriginals in Australia to to just like live in whole towns that they'd made. Yeah, when it's the way it gets back, I'm gonna head on down to Benedict, make sure the get this telegram sent off. They did this until 1978. Yep, I remember my Canadian friends being like, "Oh, we've made a huge step today," and I was like, "What's that?" And they were like, "We're signed to pay reparations to." These guys, so I was like, wait, wow, you're going to give them cash? Guess. Like, when did you stop yeah. doing this? And they were like 20 years ago. And I was like, what? Down here for the it's like, what are you joking? It's a very important question that oh, yeah. <laughs> every new employee has to answer so they can continue their employment. But we have to wait for Mr. Wade to get here. He actually takes down all the answers and uh, he tracks you know, what people have said and whatnot. I, I got to answer questions. Well, it's just one question, you know, it's, it's uh, required for employment, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Is, is it about how? No, no, it's uh, completely different. It's not really a question you can prepare yourself for, uh, you know, study up on. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just a question. He'll ask you when he gets here. Multiple choice. You don't have to come up with an answer, you know, so. Nope. Yeah, you'll be fine. I, if you say so, I'll, I'll believe you, mister. The last residential school in Canada didn't close until 1996. Yeah, like, holy shit. Holy shit. The US government gave Japanese Americans reparations about 40 years after the internment camp during World War II. Oof. <laughs> well, here it comes now. And how goes our luck today, dear gentlemen? Uh, I haven't been too lucky. I don't know about William, Mister Nash. They, Mr. they told Nash, me. pull out what we think is a diamond. Yeah, they told me I had to say hell. How? Oh, indeed. Oh, yes. I found you glass. You you found you found glass. Yeah, it looked like glass. I don't know why it worth much, but I, I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, you you found yourself an amount of armor like very fluorescent, very shiny. It's used as flux. Oh no, no, we think it's not about a diamond. It's an, it's oh, a he's diamond. talking about a yeah. diamond. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, it's all the shiny things, you know. Yeah. This will come out of these walls, Mr. Nash. I, I don't know the names all that good, but I got the rainbow ones and 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 the the the, uh, the, the green 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 and purple ones, and then I got the the black ones, which I, I think I can use with the sticks with the the fire. And then I got this glass one. I only got one of those though. They told me I had to say how. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, they tell you why we say how. Uh, it being good. I like things that are good. <laughs> this good. I Sign up. One of each of the gems, so he knows what to look for uh, if he pulls me through the wall. You just keep those on you at all times, eh, my friend? No, they were on the horse. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, Mr. Nash has also been prepped to expect his uh, employee question. Oh, brilliant. Well, now that you've already gone here and detox him on the, uh, <laughs> on the information. I have a question for you, Mr. Nash. A question that needs an answer. I, I'll Good. be real honest there, Mr. Mr. Wu, you, you sounding a little crackly. Sounding crackly? Ah, uh, yeah. Am I sounding crackly to anybody else? No, nope. you sound all right. 
Oh, okay. I'm mad. Just be me listening to the rocks. I like the round of the rocks fashion. Ah, uh -huh. I see. How about that? Is it better? Ah, uh, it's perfect. I like that. Brilliant. There's them bees out here. Um, anyway. So, my question that I have for you needs an answer. Are you ready to provide such an answer to my inquiry? Uh, I, c I can only do my best. All right. This question has been asked to every single employee who has ever walked through the portal of that great mine right over there. Oh, uh, here it comes. The question is, Mr. Nash, would you rather have a pair of ball sacks underneath your armpits or a neck ring of fully functioning vaginas? I don't know what a vagina is, so I'll have that. <laughs> All right. All right. It's a, it's a good it's, reason. Yeah. I suppose, yeah. I don't know what they are. Best way to find out is to have one, right? Yep. I'll just say, uh, in some cases, it can be a heavenly thing. Mm hmm. This man would know. He has a neck ring of vaginas around his neck. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so Sweetie. much for your answer, my friend. I appreciate the time. Huh? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Olive <laughs> also went with that answer on Sunday night when she went for a shift. I mean, I, was I feel like most women would, right? Like, <laughs> I, I, I just think testicles in my armpits would hurt, and I don't want to be in, in pain there, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, this comfort. It's funny because they have the exact same reasoning. It, it, it's it's very funny because the consensus of reasoning to choose a ball sex, right, is that you know you don't have to worry about the menstruation, the tendinitis, all that, that, and having the neck ring of vagina. But the neck the is always there. What? I can put my arms down. It is uncomfortable. Blah blah blah. It's incredible to think about what the human mind is able to think. And that's the reason why we ask these questions is because realistically, it's always good to have people who, you know, can entertain anybody they're comfortable. And don't just ask this question because I get a rise from it. No. Engaging someone's comfortability, the ability to speak openly, is a trait that I look for for all of my workers. William Hathaway didn't skip a beat when I asked him. Neither did Jim. Can somebody Neither shout out Spitty, please? Andrew, that's my name. Have, we'll have my employees, and I think that's the best part about it is gauging the fact of how they're able to communicate with one another, communicate to me with a subject matter that is so viciously <laughs> taboo. I don't know how to talk. Close my my mouth have to be open for me to talk. <laughs> <laughs> You and everybody else, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking, I fucking love Nash, man. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Oh boy, have I learned a lot about the crossing by asking that question. <laughs> 300, over oh, 300 plus times now we've asked that question. So many people have been thrown from the mines. Well, <laughs> it's fucking oh my nice God. people stuck around. That was yeah. the stream, Smitty. Were you playing The Last of Us? Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you so yeah, much. If you guys don't know me, <laughs> I'm Diody. I play a lot of roleplay, no, Grand Theft Auto. Right. We're currently on Red Dead, on Wild <laughs> oh, RP. This. this is Thomas Nash. He's, He's a circus around. strong I mean, man. Every, every week. If it's not Andrew, myself, or Fiona, I mean, oh, that schedule goes out. We send it to about... I oh my say, god. The least it grows and it, it goes. Yeah. But I mean, there's somewhere around like 75 people. And yeah, I get so telegrams. What, 50 cents of telegram? So. Oh god. Shit, that's what, 30, like 3250? 3750. 3750, yeah, you're right, you're mm. right. Yeah. So 3750 out every single month. Or week. Oh god. It's about five weeks out of the month. That times it by five, you're looking at $150 or more. 
I'm I'm crying a little bit. But it's always a kick. They're all being quiet, so I want to bet they're not. <laughs> I mean, Every single time I is get anybody the watching? Oh, I'm Cheng, Cheng Wei, I'm, I want to work. I'm hungry. You love the accent. How are you doing, Yorick? It's good to see you. I want to know who these people I are. Is, come out to work. is it on a uh, Hazroot? Have no, you guys no, found no. their streams? Yep. Just wait, I'm going to write down to uh, Benedict. What time do you want to set this appointment for? Uh, Kiss me gold is William. In Blackwater or in the city? Uh, Blackwater or Amadella, wherever she's more comfortable. How will I am? We'll right. be go can, can you go right. send Will I'm some hearts? Can right. you send him some love? We'll be right back. <laughs> the same with if you can find oh, is it Wei? I don't know what his last name is. Now something if they could trust him. Not at all. I wasn't expecting that question. I already threw me off. Already threw me off. They are mining operation. I mean, not the mining operations, but they're rangering. Uh, oh my good. god. We uh, we end up getting that lady y'all found the other night to a doctor. And then, um, Brilliant. other than oh that, yeah, it's real steady. Uh, we got a shit ton of recruits right now. Uh, we got, hell, probably like 10 or 12. Here we go. Recruits. I'm going to send it. Okay. Uh, how much, how, how much <laughs> is your turnaround usually? You say about 10 to 12 recruits. How many of them you've ever signed? Um, I'd say, really, it's usually quite a it's, bit of them. I'd say like 80% <laughs> or so. Uh, some God, of it's like nice just makes me fucking giggle so much he's so and, ridiculous you know they'll do it a few times are you playing the second one now uh, smitty how's the little no, one doing i appreciate you again so much thank you so much them, um it's good to see you streaming again usually once they get two or three patrols under their belt and then they get like stabilization training and snow patrol and all that kind of I thing like once, saying once that, they get does anybody want to find ways one they usually end up sticking around was uh is there a wild rp uh wiki well then that's a great thing for you there yep. is yeah i mean it'd be, i'm i'm hoping to see i want to see if there's a rangers consistently on duty here soon way. right now it's just like i don't know maybe half of way industries i'd say a little bit under half the day there's usually maybe one two but i'd like to get to a point where you know like we try to fill up all the time slots with at least one ranger that way. Oh, there's no, there's no page for way so industries. Long. It's not, it's not up to date. Except she love you back. Oh, oh nice. I want to find well, way. I wish you the best of luck with that. I that really, I love way. Way is already a massive. Responsibility. Because I'll tell you that much. It's always a difficult thing to control the people on the way. Excuse me, my place at the right time. Yeah, I mean, you know, in some places it's like there's there's some spots where people get held up at that you just you couldn't possibly find them if you tried. Like, you know, there's a few spots out in Big Valley that, or like uh, Grizzlies, where there's just lots of rocks and it's like if somebody falls off a cliff somewhere, there, there ain't no guarantee that we can even get up to them. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had that problem with the frontier a whole lot when that first opened up. Um, There's several people that ended up falling into the glacier. And then, you know, it's like we couldn't even hardly find our way in there to get them out. And then some of the spots, even if we could get in there, you know, you can't carry a whole nother person and jump up all them rocks and climb out. So, mm -hmm. you know, some people's just, unfortunately, they're going to have to get some crazy good locals to get them but i'd say you know i'd like to get the rate of people actually ra rescued by rangers up a bit i once held up a, 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 a log above my head for a whole five minutes <laughs> <laughs> I just I just dropped it on the floor and I I, I went and got some water. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, well there you go. But I mean, the, the audience some... they they real lock it. They all clap and cheer and I don't like that. That was loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the, 
testament to human strength. I mean, I would also celebrate the exact same way. I mean, pretty impressive Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big log. I say like this, this stack I'm, I'm standing on. Oh my, that's a quite the piece of lumber right there. That's so a question William, for you though. Uh, oh, go ahead. Oh no, oh, go ahead. That's just putting a question. I can wait. Uh, I so said, William told me, uh, y'all are shooting for next Tuesday for that auction? Yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> actually. <laughs> I was about to go ahead and ask. I think uh, William's already gone there and uh, talk, talk to you about it. Yes, we're, we're aiming for next Tuesday. It's going to All be right. at, um,. I just, I, I feel like nine with Nash, I just need to attach myself to a single word that somebody says. Yeah. A little early. And then um, we're going to head over to the location now. But uh, yes, uh, we will be having this auction and I was going to offer the invitation to you to come along there, Jib. Because I know that you're an avid connoisseur of hunting. And the two, some of they the can hear you crack it up on his side. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I need to make sure that I mute my mic quick enough. Go ahead and bid on. Would that be quick enough to show me or no? Yeah. No, I'd, I'd like a, uh, a Springfield. Brilliant. Well, if you would like to come and you want to spread the word to the Rangers as well, I need you to understand two things. A. All of these invites are not done via Telegram. All this right. has been something that's only been spread word of mouth and that is it. And it is mostly to make sure that the sanctity of this event stays 100% pristine. Yep. I do not have to worry about outside your ears or eyes prying on our goods and your investment, if you want. So, it is if really you hard are going to bring a plus not one break. Again, your plus one must bid, or at least one of the guns. And it has to be a vetted individual of your own self, understanding the criteria to which I just gave to you. Yeah, sure. Brilliant. So, we have, I believe, allotted four slots for ranges. So, if there's somebody else that you know of that wants to bring a plus one, Hell. feel free to, feel free to do so. Oh, you found another gym? What'd you find? I, f I found more glass. More glass. Can we get the collective white industries how inside the mine? It's oh. <laughs> still collective. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so if you want to start spreading the word out there, which is maybe your plus one, or maybe another person that you talk to that also brings their plus one, again, four allotted slots for rangers, um, you just go ahead and uh, send me a telegram. Let me know who's coming. Let me know who right. to communicate with. Yeah, heard it. Fantastic. And it's not just going to be, of course, anything guns in Springfields. We have uh, clean pump action shotguns and Mausers. We'll be selling that thing. Mm, yep. I mean, I assume everything else is clean too. Okay, so. that was annoying me. Oh yeah, no, well, well, we don't, we don't we sell law shit. They, yeah, we do have. Idea. Uh, hey, with the cray, <laughs> especially when I'm inviting lawmen to an auction, I would. Oh have yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I am one of those firm believers that this types of auction isn't going to discriminate on. Wait, am I the only one who's got idea. any gems? A type in has not bought a law weapon, I think, in about seven to eight months. We, um, we're a Kazali bit. I mean, you know, being a gun, gun salesman and gun runners, you know, guns come for you, you sell the guns. And certain, only certain people are going to be interested. Or are they in being smart about guns. it and not we revealing when they get a gem? We didn't yeah. like the fact of, of selling them, but we did it because of the fact that we did the customer clientele in the beginning of our opening. We did not want to discriminate. Could it be pick a chosen? But now, where we stand, we can't do that. So we don't buy any of those guns. Period. Mm -hmm. Haven't sold in quite some time. And if we ever buy a gun that is stolen off of somebody, let's say it's a, a pistol with a telegram, we'll buy it. But the thing is, though, is that when we sell it, we're not selling it back to anybody else. We're sending it to that same individual that lost it. And the goal, overall, is to never sell them the gun. It's to give them back the gun. But yeah. to be honest with you, I, I can't justify buying a a bolt action rifle that's got a telegram on it and over twelve hundred dollars worth of customization and pay less than six for it, you know? 
yeah. it becomes very difficult. So I unfortunately have to, at that point, run into the middle of having to charge this person to get that weapon back. But I mean, at least they're not paying hell in the hay basket or having to go out there and murder somebody for the belongings. Yeah, yeah, uh, I agree with you there. It's a whole lot better than spending $600 on a new one and then customizing it again, so. Mm-hmm. I would agree with you completely. I think they, they there's a lot better of a rope than going to better. Yeah. Not to mention it's just scummy as fuck, you know, buying weapons that are stolen off of people and whatnot and not returning them. I just can't. I, 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 in, in my right mind with the more shit of Taipei to support and allow my Qing to come and fall, it would never be something we could do. Yeah, I agree with you there. All right, can all of you see the pickaxe in my hand right now? Uh, no. Uh, no. No, you can't. Okay. This pickaxe is stuck in my hand. Yeah, mine is a little bit too. Trip Not a play, but play. Coast inside the mine. Were you here last Tuesday too, there, Mister Jim? Um, I don't believe so. No, I think I was on duty. Sounds about right. Responsibilities and duty calls. How much were these worth again? I don't remember. Gotcha, Mr. Way. Oh, nice! Bang Way. Oh, let me follow him as well. It's been sent out. I'll see you at 9.30. Sounds fantastic to me. I did let her know that, of course, next time I will be checking would we'll literally be at 9.30 in Armadillo. So. I love National Water. Oh, People, I really got to go get some sleep. sleep. Get some sleep. Nikita, I'll see you in Discord. Oh, she knows to, to expect us there at least. I'm going to see you in Discord. Can we get some hunts in the chat for Nikita? Give her the love she deserves. Alright, I have a question for everyone. Alright. You receive a million dollars, but for the rest of your life, you can only wear shirts, sweaters, and jackets that are all three sizes too small. Am I allowed to wear pants or it just just shoot just upper body garments? Mm. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, take the million dollars, move to some 
tropical island where I don't have to wear any shirts or pants. <laughs> I mean, I do, yeah. I have heard about, like, apparently in, like, Europe and South America, they got, like, beaches where you ain't got to wear clothes. Well, I have a million dollars. I'll, I'll buy a beach and say that you don't have to wear no clothes. You know, you tell you what, that, that you <laughs> might be on something there. I, uh, I mean, I'm happy to take the uh, million dollars and just go topless for the rest of my life. But, mm -hmm. I mean, but you bought them with this, too, is the thing. Oh, he shit. Said, well, he you said just... He, he said, Fuck. just just upper body. It's got to be three sizes too small, so... Well, I just feel like I'm walking around in a gown. William, Andrew, Jeb, and Mr. Wade, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, three sizes too small, not big. Shit. No, yeah, small. not that, not yeah. big, no. <laughs> Sound like you're walking around like a goddamn air balloon. No, you're walking around like some sort of child out of a first at, day at of At this point, yeah, you'd be oh, walking around it. like a... <laughs> like a male, male exotic dancer or something. You'll let it all hang out for the rest of your life, but you got a million bucks. I mean, you know, at that point, I mean, hell, at this point in my life, I ain't got nobody to impress, so yeah, I'll take the deal. <laughs> you uh, a million no. dollars, you're going to impress a lot of people. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> uh -huh. I wasn't talking about that, but yeah. Well, sure. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying, though. Right? It won't matter. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll take the deal. I'll go move to, hell, South America somewhere and just lay on a lawn chair, have a bunch of pretty ladies fanning me with them big leaves. There you go. Can I ask a question, Mr. Wu? Uh, Mr. Wei, in the extra uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we. No, uh, no, no worries. What's a million? <laughs> um, imagine a thousand dollars. All right. I, I, I don't know. I don't really know how much that is either. All right, I got uh, this one. How? What's yeah. the biggest number you can count to? Uh, g g give me some time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you did this eight, <laughs> nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, uh, twelve. Go on. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. So I'm gonna stop you there. All right. So, so just imagine you see that lantern next to you. I, I see it. Yeah, I'm real bright. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So just imagine twenty of them lanterns. All right. It'd be like a nice big line of lanterns right behind. Well, right? look like the sun. That'll be real bright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just imagine a line of twenty lanterns. Just imagine there's enough lanterns to fill every spot in this cave like the whole thing is just like there's lanterns like oozing out the front right that's a long even, land and so that'll, that'll, that'll be real then, hot even then it still wouldn't be a million and that's how much a million is well wait what the, what the hell am i going to do with a million dollars well the good thing is you could have a bank hold on to it for you and a dollar don't take up as much space as a lantern so you have a nice bank somewhere hold on to it for you and then you gotta work a day for the rest of your life i barely work a day as it what what are they gonna do with my million dollars i don't know what i'm gonna do with my million dollars why would i give it to someone else <laughs> well mostly because it'll hold on to it for you and i'm not gonna go through all the other things i can do with it but one thing that a million dollars can do for you is just about anything you want. So, so name name something that you might want to do if you if you didn't have to worry about money ever. I I never real worry about money anyway, but I'd like to find Miss Millie. 
Oh, I, I suddenly feel real heavy. All right. Oh, you uh, you need to go put that that pouch on your your horse saddle. Oh, Do you have a horse, yeah. Same as the next? Yeah. Yeah, I got flop. 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 Oh, flop. Flop. <laughs> I really want to watch that clip. <laughs> yeah. It built the last. Oh, I feel I feel much better now. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fifteen. I'm waiting for him to say like a Six color or a letter. Be able to, uh, bend your ear for a moment, uh, sure. Yeah. Let's yeah, have a conversation. Of course. Of course, 17, of course. 18, 19, <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20. All right, so I'm going to stop you there, all right? Let's some magic. <laughs> Another question for you, Lord, before I take a walk out this mine. <laughs> million dollars, but every time you see someone attractive, you vomit just a little bit. There you Every time, or just the first time you see it? Every time. Every time. Deal. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you just deal. Yeah, you just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh I'll God. take a million dollars. You all really have selective eyes, I'll tell you that much. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah, Hell, I was married for 27 years. I don't, I don't need anything else attractive. I still don't know what to do with a million dollars. Well, you want to live on like a, I don't know, you could have your like a nice farm. All the animals you could ever want. Oh, I do. I do like animals. They listen real good. Yeah, see, there you go. Get you, you know, hell, maybe you wouldn't even need a million for a farm. You'd need like, hell, maybe 40, 50,000. And that's only like half a percent of what you actually have left. So, I mean, you'd have... Yeah, that'd be a big nice farm too, with 50,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can get you a nice big farm, have lots of cows and goats, and then, I mean, hell, at that point, you'd be making even more money. So, I mean, you know, you'd be content for the rest of your life. And then if you decided to have a wife or children, then, you know, they'd probably be set for life too. Can, can I have my ass? Uh, sure, yeah. All right, mice. Well, guess you can probably have more than a million mice or a million dollars. Oh, I don't know if I want a million mice. That is sound like it. They, they all get hurt crammed in a mine like this. <laughs> uh, guess you can buy a big, uh, big open farm. Mouse farm? Maybe? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't know what you do with the mouse farm, but... I, I, would, I would just be with my... I like mice. They, 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 they're real nice to me when I'm in my bed. They sleep yeah. on me. I give them warmth. And they tickle me. I like tickle. <laughs> Well, there you go then. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm waiting right. for them to just rob me at the end of hey, this. You get yourself a much bigger bed. No, nah, she's just gonna cry. Fit a lot more mice in it.
Oh god. Nash is such a fucking joy. <laughs> he's just. He's just. Oh! Hell! How? Oh, how? Very good. I'm getting real good at this rock fashion. I like this. That's good. C can we bash rock outside, though? This is real inside and it's kind of, kind of scary nope well, it's all it's all inside rock passion oh well maybe i'll do a bit more tree chopping later then that makes me real happy that's what i used to do when i first came to the crossing Used to stay up there and apple seed, everything. But it's wolf country up that way, so made for some interesting nights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw some of those dogs. They weren't so nice. The fact that none of the, like surely one of these other guys has has found something that's where i'm getting sus is like the fact that i just it just keep keep going how and i'm the only one who's found anything like how am i the only one who's found anything I found three gems, two diamonds and an emerald. Like I'm up good. Wait, was it an emerald or was that ruby? I think that might have been a ruby. I'll have to I'll have to recheck it. Yeah, it's a rural ruby. I've got the best spot. You'd be happy with the the flint and the sticks. Oh yeah, I'm I'm just happy for the experience. I, I don't give a shit about the money. That's just uh, not a numbers character anyway, exactly.
He's not grinding for his S plus plus horse. Exactly. He doesn't give a shit about no no like super horse. He's got flop and he's happy. He likes flop. Unless flop died and then it'd need money for a new horse. It'd be really sad if flop died. It'd be so sad if flop died. I love, I loved way after, after they're like, so what's the biggest number you went? And I went, one. <laughs> he went, ah, oh, now you've fucking done it. <laughs> now, now you've done it. <laughs> now you, you did this. This is your fault. <laughs> He let him get to 20 was amazing. If Pop and Winston can be together in Wild RP, that'd be that'd be great. It's honestly a lot of fun playing Wild RP. I kind of miss playing it whilst I'm away. I'm waiting for them to come back. I'm trying to think of a question that, uh, not Winston, Nash would ask them. Would, would, would you, would you rather eat a, eat a horse or Pay, pay a mil million dollars. No. I'm trying to think. I, I, I wanted to ask something that's like really obviously you would choose eat a horse or, or or something that's like hurt it's either hurt an animal or get a negative and everybody would just be like well i'll just do that that's the really obvious choice and then nash is gonna <laughs> just freak out <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what why are you upset
Need a no, I don't think Nash would like to hurt other people either. Unless he had to. Nash is kind of a peaceful soul. He likes lifting things. Need a horse to get run over by one? I don't think he really wants to die. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, now I'm going. How? How? <laughs> I like this one. It's a nice color. How color is it? Oh, it's, 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 it's one is red. Very nice. Very nice. I, 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 I thought of a, a, a question. All right. Would 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 you rather eat eat a eat a rock or eat a horse? Eat a rock or eat a horse? Yeah. I mean, I I eat a horse then. How did you do that? The poor horse. A horse you didn't know it's you. Oh, I can't believe you hurt the horsey. <laughs> well, what's the difference between a, eating a horse and eating a cow? I wouldn't eat no cow neither. Those cows are nice. They give you moo juice. <laughs> so. What you're saying is you're a vegetarian. I don't know what that is, and I take offense to that, sir. <laughs> well, is there any animal you would eat? Those animals real nice to me. I like them animals. I wouldn't want to hurt them, especially when they listen so good. Okay, well, what do you eat then? I like fruit. I, I like my, my potatoes. I, I like a little fish. Fish is nice, but it, they got all those little bones in them and they, that hurt my throat. I, I mostly like my, my, my grain and, and, my, and my oats. I used to eat my oats with the horses. All right, then. Well, I guess that's a way of eating, too. I also really like chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate's real good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I reckon if you live off of chocolate, though, you, you won't feel all that good after a while. I don't know if I could live off chocolate, but oh, maybe that's what I'll do with a million dollars. <laughs> Just buy chocolate with it. I'll just oh, yeah. eat all the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot of be a lot of chocolate for a million dollars. I'll tell you that. I'll probably buy a whole. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure chocolate's factory. like ain't chocolate. I want to say it's like fifty cents or something a piece. Yep, something like that. So, so, so with a, a million dollars, I could buy like a hundred. Uh, try two million. I don't know how much yeah. a million is. That more than a hundred? Uh, well, you probably buy a right. hundred train cars full of chocolate. A million? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. But then still have some left over. Mm -hmm. You probably have the whole goddamn train made of chocolate. That sounds real good. I don't know if I could eat that much chocolate. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Your train could have its own theme song. Chocolate train. 
Blowing to Saint Anthony in the rain. People send me the out of steel chocolate is insane. Chocolate train. It's a work in progress. Yeah. That's fucking good. Well, it can't, can't really be the company jingle, but. <laughs> it'll be it'll be nice to jingle. I I don't all remember the cho chocolate train. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Blowing okay. in scent 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 to the end the rain. Man, let's see practice will make perfect. <laughs> I don't think you heard my question. I don't believe I did. What was your question? Would would you would, would you rather eat a rock or a horse? Well, understanding I've eaten a horse plenty of time in my lifetime, I go with the horse. Yep, I'm yep. more delectable than a rock. You eat multiple horses. I've eaten horse. I've eaten. Turtle, I've eaten. You yeah, even eaten the little chicken, turtle. Cow, I've eaten dog, I've eaten cat. Scorpion. Huh? The scorpions, rat. Well, I don't, I don't understand the scorpion, but why those other animals on you? Think, think, look at the guy. First of all, look at the horse, all right? And then look at the cow. Look how much muscle is on that horse. They had good mutton. Yeah, it's got a mild muscle to hug you with and look after you and keep you warm at Shit night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of the above. Also, a lot of muscle on there to sustain you. I'm sorry, if I'm stuck up on the mountainside and the first thing I have after no rations is my horse that I can go ahead and eat, I'm eating my horse. That's not very nice. I would, I would, I would never eat flaw. When his survival ever been nice, Nish? Think about it. You have no food. And a cute, adorable bunny comes up to you. You haven't eaten in weeks. What are you gonna do? Eat more leaves and snow? Hmm? Yeah. Or are you going to pick up that rabbit and swing it around like a goddamn clock and eat that shit? Poor? <gasps> spin it around like a clock, you know, grab it by the neck. You know, I speed. can't believe you do that to a poor innocent bunny. Uh, you know they poo circles. Nature. What about circles? Uh, rabbits, they poo circles. How can you kill something? Oh! oh I was real loud in this mine. I don't like that. What the thunder? Yeah, I was real loud in the mind. It gave me a fright. <laughs> yeah, the acoustics in this place can be something else. I mean, I see your argument there, Mr. Nash. But the way that I see it is that the human race has been doing nothing but st striving on survival instinct since the beginning of its time. We have to eat. We have to drink. We have to talk. We have to think. But all of these things is what sustains our lives. If there are creatures that are put onto this earth, not as an impasse, but there's a resource to be cultivated so that I might be able to survive, that I might be able to survive long enough for those that are still coming, then I'm going to do everything in my power to survive. Mister, what would you normally eat, Nash? I, I normally eat oats with my horses i eat apples and fruit and and ve ve vegetables I, I love vegetables oh you you don't eat meat at all right? i don't want to hurt no no horses uh I, would you want to eat your friend no of course not would you eat Will, Will am. 
If he was dead and it was the only thing, you better believe it. God damn, Joe. Thanks. Oh my god. Lord have mercy on your soul. <laughs> well, the Lord has enough mercy for mine. What did we decide about the bunny? We we moved on and we found out that Jeb would eat me if it meant surviving. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Jeb didn't even think twice about it. He said, "Hey, we gonna he munch." <laughs> I think he's licking his lips already. <laughs> yeah. Just hoping for that cave in, huh? I feel a little uncomfortable being this close to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I think you might need to keep an eye on him. Jib the ranger, once a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's a story in the course of right in the day. You know, there was once a rumor, um, before I met any of y'all, long time ago, because it was bringing people out to the mine, but there was about two times where the headaches were just plaguing all of us. And um, I left with about nine people to the mine, Shit. came back with only about three or four. I had a reporter following me around, thinking that I was taking people out to the mine to murder them out here. Well, there's some free fluoride on the ground. I'll be right back. Free fluoride. Wait, so the reporters for you were just bringing people out here to kill them? Yeah. They thought that I was coming out here to murder them. And this was back when there was like a spree of serial killers and disappearing around the crossing. And, um, yeah, they suspected me. Thinking that I was bringing them out here to, to murder them. Which just never be the goddamn case. Why did, why did the reporter ask the other three people that came back? Well, they asked them where they have gone. You know, have they seen anything suspicious? Did Mr. Way tell anybody to go anywhere that they shouldn't have gone after they got to work? Blah, blah, blah. You know, trying to be as thorough as they could to try to, I, I don't know, make me look like a monster that they thought that I was. But there's the one thing about monsters. They're always painted by those who are looking out with, necessarily looking in. I was gonna say, if they wanna paint you like a monster, they should just ask if you'd eat a rock or a horse. Maybe <laughs> 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 should have gone ahead and given me that line of inquiry. <laughs> should go ahead and give him some notes. <laughs> yeah, but then again, I thought about it. I mean, could you imagine a serial killer who kills people with nothing but a pickaxe? Hi, yeah. Oh. It's pretty sharp. I think you could do some damage. Oh, yeah. I mean, point this side up. I mean, that's going in and it's coming out. That's not getting stuck. Yeah. Is that right? No, he just cares a lot about animals. You receive a million dollars, but every time you meet or see somebody that you know, every time you greet them, you hug them for 30 seconds. No less, no longer. I like hugging. I want to hug people. Use a million dollars then, huh? Oh, I get money? Uh, pretty easy, yeah. Ten million dollars, give everyone a hug for 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, you just mm -hmm. be known as like the weird guy that hugs people, but I mean, that, that yep. ain't the worst yeah, thing. That's you know, not that. weird. That's <laughs> not some friendly. I like hugging people. 
Nah, some people might not enjoy it. You might get punched every now and then, but... Well, Why would they dollars. do that? That's true. Well, you know, some people are a bit closed off to people, you know, they don't like being touched, anything like that. And you just walk up and hug them for 30 seconds, they're going to be a how, bit uncomfortable and how, punch you in the face. How, how, how are they going to get tickled if they don't like being touched? I guess they don't, uh, don't have that joyous experience in their life. I think they had. Yeah, I kidnapped a deputy the other night and tickled him. Wait, True story. What? What, what kind of name is deputy? I don't know. It's, uh, it's a title, you know, like a uh, law enforcer and deputy. A lot of strong man. <laughs> yeah, like strong man's a title. Yeah, kind of like that. But yeah, I. Uh... <laughs> Me and Olive had been threatening to uh, to kidnap this deputy for like a month, and then we finally did it. Threw him in a tent, tickled him, stole his steak, and ran away. Um, you all do over here for fun, eh? Yeah. Crime <laughs> of the century. Yep. You tickle his feet, or you tickle his <laughs> armpits. I, don't know, I went for the armpits, you know. He had boots on. I take the boots off. I think he might have been a bit more annoyed than me if I took his boots off while we had him tied up. <laughs> a lot tickle dare putty. <laughs> yeah, what you gotta do is uh, just get one of those ropes, tie him up, they enjoy it. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Head away. <laughs> Just remember okay. the ceiling to which you're planting here. All yeah, right. good, good it point. rains Nash, a lot here in the crossing. <laughs> don't, don't do that, Nash. You might get in trouble. I, I've Is never it? been in trouble before. Yeah, yeah. You've never been in trouble. So the one day you decide to tickle a deputy who ends up having a heart attack because <laughs> you tickled him too much, and then you say that William Hathaway gave you the fucking idea. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah yes. <laughs> no. Not do this. Babe. How? <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, god. Nash, are you yeah. kidding me right now, Mesh? <laughs> Real lucky tonight. Can we get the collective weight industries howl for the man with all the luck inside this mine right now? Am <laughs> 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 I I'm all the only one getting these pretty gems? I got I, one I ruby. One ruby myself, that is it. Oh, okay. oh yes. I'm just not going to say what I have. Yeah, Fuck you, yeah. Jib. <laughs> I didn't even mention it. Jib, Jib, Jib and Nash over here wasting to be the luckiest people in the mine right now. I'll still never forget that one night. I think Stitch walked out of here with like 11 gems. Oh, oh my yeah. god, that was yeah. ridiculous. That was, that was up there with the biggest hole I've ever had. Alright, here we go. We just need to talk about gems. That works for me. Just got some glass, Nash. Got some of the glass. Oh, I'll, I'll, I don't like the glass. It, it, it ain't very pretty. Oh yeah, but it's valuable. I mean, so I saw a hugs. Apparently, I can get one <laughs> billion dollars for hugging. Yep. Listen, if somebody can make five thousand dollars for giving people musical telegrams, you can do anything. Wait, what? Yeah, well, there was a, a lady that was running around here months ago who ran her own telegram um, singing business. You could send her a draft of a telegram that you wanted to send their way. And then, um,
There we go. Let's put. I think Nash is starting to think, why am I the only one saying how? And they've all just admitted that they actually have gems. They're just not saying how. So now he's just going to keep the gems on him. About. It's all going away company anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. They can complain about it. It's all about competition. <laughs> Throwing diamonds on the ground. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back to them. We shall be going for the next 22 minutes, all right? All right. He said the Nash having two is uh, already begin his luck. I don't know, but this guy said he didn't wasn't gonna say how many he had. This guy's already said he's got one or two. The other guy said he had one or two. This guy's got one. So it's not like they're not getting any. Four is a, a lot though. Did uh did Rainbow see the the clip? Out of curiosity, did you see the clip? I don't have the rain tells to see two streams at once. Oh, that's fair enough. Seems we have one more face coming to join us for the end of our shift. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, Miss Sawyer, who I've met in the same tonight. Welcome, Miss Sawyer. Mm -hmm. oh, hello. Where is she going to put the ball? Probably somewhere down there in the deeper part of the mine. This mine goes very, very far. What was that? The end of the mine. Disaster. Mm-hmm. Oh, that don't sound no good. Well, usually disaster isn't necessarily followed by something positive. You see, um... 
Mr. Leish, this mine was not always open to the public. This mine was um, something that, uh, before much of the politics that comes around, the economy and the culture of cultivating this type of crop, and usually the point of contention for a lot of grape. The miners that were here didn't want to unionize while the other mining organizations and the government's foothold in the establishment was that they were going to unionize all the mines, change the base rate of pay, which also means the base rate of safety, communication, travel, expense, all of it. And many of the people here who called the lost in their home and worked out here in this mine were seeing their very way of life that they had been enjoying so much being put into jeopardy. So those people who had that ideology and thought process radicalized. And they started to protest. Mines all around the crossing shut down. From the one over the Elysium Pool, one of the most profitable gold mines in the entirety of the crossing, felt its downfall. And many of the other mines around here at home. But Gap Tooth is a very, very unique case. You see, Gap Tooth is a mine that is very abundant in precious stones, but it is even more abundant in armalite and fluorite and flint. And in some pockets, in the 200 to 300 level, you would find galena. This is the base form of what you would call silver. It's very heavily lead-based. But due to things like armalite and fluorite that we have here, you could melt the galena and all of those other two ores together to extract the true essence of the mineral. And that was in the form of silver. One day, deep inside of the miners' strike, those who conformed to the union still showed up to work every single day. Came down these ready tracks, down the, the lift, and they would journey down to the different levels of this mine. Right now, we are on what would be considered the 100 level. But the mine goes down another 200 feet and then another 300 feet tall with massive canals to and fro. Well, some of the radicalized people from the strike came to the shift the night before. And when they came here the night before, they said dynamite. Because what they wanted to do was to blow the mine out on the 100 level not having any access to the 200 or 300 and upset the established order. And they succeeded. But what those people did not know is the mining shift that day started a lot earlier for the Union folks. Usually at time at 9 a.m. was a 6 a.m. meet time. The person lighting the fuels lit it at 8. The 50 workers that were down there, mining the massive Galena pocket on the 200 level, heard the boom, heard the lumber shift, the loose dirt falling upon their heads, as a person above with a long fuse had blown out the 100 level. What is at the bottom of this mine? is a gravestone. It is a testament to the resolve and strength that those 50 people showed every single day, doing their best to live in that hell that was now created for them. The miners' strike ended about four months ago. And ever since then, I and many other different mining companies and those who come out here out of their own decision they come here to make money. But the one thing the way industry refuses to do is to forget those who came before who paved our way for success. So do not think of this place as to be a, a haunted um, venue. You should be honored to carry their spirit and the strength of every single one of your swings.
live like they did. Live like they did for their families. And you will do honor by their spirits. Remind me of my grandpa Nolan. He, he talk a lot about shake and spear too. <laughs> I think I think the two of you get on real nice. <laughs> I don't understand much of what he said neither. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> There's no way Dash understood any of that, bro. Feel empowered, though, right, Nash? Huh? You know, like. Y'all are talking like he knows what these words mean. Oh, good point. Um, it uh, made you feel good. The story, right? No, it. it it made me feel a little sad that but I mean there'd be people who 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 who, who had to go to sleep and never wake up but it weren't their fault yeah, it was but someone else like someone hurting a horsey I mean the the moral of the story right like you know, live on and swing your pickaxe in their spirits and all that yeah that, that's it's nice. I, I like to think that they're with with us. Like like G Jesus says. You filled your pockets, now, Jim. Yep, I'm about as full as full gets. I hope I didn't break him. I think I broke him. That was, that was a phenomenal story. So we'll be showing off under here in the next um, five minutes, all right? All right. Sounds good. That was a really, really good narration. And I hope he knows that I understood it. But Nash didn't have a fucking faintest idea what he just said. You can't use words like radicalize, unionize. Nash has no idea what the fuck those mean. I did have to just sit there and listen to it though. Tank. Go ahead and finish up your last two swings or get ready to pack it up, alright? Yeah, yes, sir. How do we get rid of the pickaxe?
Oh my god, this is so far out. Holy shit. Yeah, two rubies, two diamonds, and an emerald. They're stable. I can't believe this shit. That was my... You know, me and Andrew got robbed on our way over here. Bitch took my fucking Lancaster. Wait, really? I had no idea she took that. I mean, I, she took money off me and I gave her a gym. She took a fucking rifle off me. Told her, son of a bitch. Any idea who it was? Uh, yeah, I got her name. I, you, you, you know me, with him. I can have someone rob me and then make a business proposition the same fucking day. <laughs> yeah. Wait, she took a Lancaster over you? She, uh, yeah, I can't. It's not on cheap hole. And I don't think it's in the bank. Oh my god. Hey, all. Backing up. 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 Back in the way you know. We are going for it. I'm done backing up. I can't believe she took my goddamn link, Kester. Had a telegram on it and everything. I think of Fiona's not going to be happy at all. It was her goddamn gun. I don't remember you having this gun on you, though, when we headed out. Man, no, I didn't have it on my back. Oh, it was tucked in your coat, that's it. Go ahead and take it. I just wasn't expecting it to be gone. I swear I'm to God, be honest, I'm, I'm surprised people would even have the uh, tenacity to, uh, to rob you, Mr. Way. Well, it's happened twice over the past, like, four weeks now, there, Andrew. Robbed in the tea room, yeah. mm -hmm. robbed the vet, but I mean, like I said, every interaction I've ever had is usually ends up with, all right, so what is it that I can do with Taipei? Okay, this is backwards. <laughs> yeah. All right, now listen, we usually would be stopping here to do our sales. We're going to go push it all the way to Amadella, okay? Uh, all right. Uh, probably all right. shouldn't go into Armadillo right now, right? Why? Oh. Uh, there's like apparently an outbreak of cholera. Well, brilliant. Okay, all right. Everybody go ahead and uh, let's get the sell their things here then. Less the time we spend the better. Yeah. People have been talking about it the last couple of days. That's brilliant. Well, Mr. Mon, you're doing great. I don't know how to get
I don't know how to get rid of this goddamn pickaxe. I think they're selling them now though. Alright, Mr. Nash. Uh, just a reminder, don't sell your gems or your flint. You just want to be selling the amalite and the fluorite. That's the rainbowy rock and the green and purple one. Alright. Okay. But yeah, you can sell it all right right inside here. They'll buy it right off you. Holy shit. Fluorite. Fluorite. Amaralite. Nope. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. I sold flint. It's fine. It is what it is. Because what's it? It sells for one each. They'd buy it for two, but I could sell it for... I don't, I don't really care for the money. We have $243. I don't know what the fuck I'm ever going to do with that amount of money. Did your store take everything all right there, Nish? Yeah, I, I'll a little, a little more. All right, look, we'll take your time, take your time. Just want to make sure everything is going in this smoothly, all right? Go back to the stable now, Flop. Oh, oh, oh. All aboard. Almost. 
next stop, Armadillo. It will be our last stop where you will receive your paychecks for your day worth of work. If there's any gems you have that um, has not been taken off of you already, um, the gems I will buy off of you. Um, again, we at the Street will take a small percentage of the gems which you have acquired from your time inside the ship. Other than that, all other gems which you have on your person, you are more than willing to go and sell. The best way for you to capitalize on the money you've made today is to go ahead and sell your gems or keep them for your own personal benefit. And many of those who take gems and utilize them as a secondary way of uh, having income, uh, a little bit more of a secure income. It is completely up to you. But again, the gems can and shall be purchased off of you if you think it's so necessary. Um, the prices are a diamond being $50 at the general store, we buy them for six things. For an emerald, $100 at the general store, we buy them for one twenty. Thirty dollars $30 for a general store price on a company, we buy them for 35 and the sapphire sell for 36 at the general store, but we buy them for 40. So do what you must with that information. We will be arriving at our destination in the next three weeks. I do believe I have a ruby, sapphire and a diamond purchased off of Phoenix the other night to sell you Mr. White. Brilliant. Was that uh, part of the compensation that I gave you the other night or no? Uh, no, this was uh, just gems that he sold me afterwards. Understood. Yeah, I believe I gave all the donated gems to McMuffin. I gave him those the other day. Brilliant. To get a natural copper here. I haven't seen him all week. Have any of you? Nope. No, I've not seen him all week. The last Sunday was the last time I saw him. Andrew, if uh, you see Copperhead and um, before I do, get those gems from him, all right? Sure. Yep. Is this Jeff? William, are you returning back to the east? I will be, yes. Will it be too much if I asked you to take the rest of our company back out east along with you? No, that's absolutely fine. I figured as much. I heard Mr. Miller say you were arranging me for here. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> tickle. <laughs> you don't, you don't like to be tickled. Uh, no, not really. Oh, okay. All right, look at this foot, everybody. Inside that bank, or deposit your things, and then come see me. Howdy. Hello there. Right, come to me behind the wagon uh, to come pick up your paychecks. Hello, Mr. Kelly. Howdy, howdy, Mr. White. How are you doing, sir? Good, 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 good. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Coming yeah, back yeah. from the mines? Yeah, just got back from Gaptoff. Small ship today. Like the males or the best here? Reached out to both of them. But nothing big. I think Jabez is too busy with everything that's going on with the natives, and then Mills have heard back from the of the telegram two days, and not even two days, a day and a half after I talked to him. And uh, Mills has been, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Nothing. Yeah, he's been around. Yes, but it's always my issue there, Mr. Kelly. It's not about the reaching out, it's getting a response back. <laughs> What can you do? Maybe I'll get reluctant enough to be able to get a response sooner than later. That is a hold at least. How big was the hold today, fellas? 
And uh, to, be, to be honest with you, I mean, then again, I have yet to uh, make the uh, sale as of yet. But steps always there, Mr. Kelly, steps always. We like to hang around the town, we can talk. All right, then, Webby, please. Line up at the back of the wagon. Yep, yep, fella. Oh, 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 no, oh my bad. <laughs> well, All right here, Mr. Jim. All right, then what do we got? All right, fantastic. Do you uh, have anything else you would like to sell? Uh, not at the moment, no. Not the word at all. All right. Until next time, Mr. G. All right, Mr. Nash. What do we go ahead and get from the mine tonight? Oh, wow. You did very well for yourself tonight. All right. I'm going to take the emu. All right. Which is the, which is the raw one there. Okay. And the other two, you can keep. You can keep if you want to. Again, those are in the raw states, they are not refined. You can try to find somebody out here who does refined diamonds, who could do that for you, if you would like to. Or you can sell them to the general store at their raw price. That, or you can have them uh, be cut. But there's one to let you know that we buy them at cut prices. So you won't get gypped by selling them to the general store, because they will only give you half. So would you like to sell me your other four precious stones that you do here? I'd like to sell, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So then we are looking at. We are looking at. $190 plus your $25 paycheck, which brings you up to $215. Alright, and I, I owe you money back for the pickaxe. No, 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 no. The pick When it comes to tools, pickaxes, gem pouches, the crates, whatever it might be, that's always supplied by us. Yeah, I need to change. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Well, there you are, sir. Oh, thank, thank, you, thank you very much. Oh, You're very, very welcome, okay. sir. Holy shit! What am I gonna do with all this money? Four hundred and eighty-one dollars. One ruby, one sapphire, one and then one diamond you said. So Look at this, Remy, it's your friend Donya Wells. Alright, one thirty-five plus your paycheck, so one eighty-five. Oh, Mr. White? Yes, sir. If you wanna hang around town we can talk, I just got uh something else has popped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally in town. We'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be here for the next like twenty minutes or so. Take the time. Alright. Good night, fellas. Oh no! Oh, All right, brilliant. All right. Okay, fantastic. So that's everybody then. Everyone paid. Okay. Everyone ready. Excellent. Right. Yep. Awesome. Nash, um, does Mister Hathaway or Mister um, Miller here have your telegram number? Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, no, I, I haven't given out no telegram. All right. Why don't you go ahead before um, Mr. William Hathaway brings you back out to East, all right? Why don't you go over there to the telegram office and get your telegram number from them and come back over here and give it to us? That way we can send you the schedule for next week. Oh. Uh, and the rest of this. Okay. I, I don't read or write no good. Well, a lot oh, of times okay. the, uh, the clerk at the... Telegram station will will read it for you if you ask them. Oh uh, yeah, I I try I, I had to look it. I try to remember it. It was like a like a pitch for it. and then and then a man with his hand on his hip and his leg out, and then like a, a circle with a hook underneath it, and then a pair of bosoms, and then a hook with a flat bottom.
you get that? <laughs> uh, no. No, I did not. <laughs> a pitchfork? Yeah, a pit, pitchfork looking to, to, to the right, like your, your three hook. Back. So an E? Oh, all right, like an E, all right. And then like a, a man standing and his hands on his hip, uh, it's, it's like round and then his one legs like slow out. That's, that's an R thing, yeah. And then the next one was like... Very interesting description. <laughs> the, the, the neck... <laughs> and the numbers. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will, it will, it will like a, a circle and have a hook underneath it. A nine. Oh, like a nine. And then it was a pair, a pair of bosoms. It, it looked a little like a pitchfork, but the other way. Three. Oh, three. Oh, three. Yes. And then the other one will lock, lock a, like a fish hook going down and then a flat, like bottom, like a horizon. One. That's a two. Two? Yeah, yeah I guess that's two. Yeah, yeah top, top or curved. Oh, Thank you for doing too. your best there, Jim. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Pitchfork. Man with their hands on his hip. Circle with a hook. A pair of... Elephant rifle 932. Uh, let, All right. let, let, let me let me have a, have a look there. Oh, oh, that don't, that Tom don't sound good. Yeah. yeah, I think he was right when he said something came up. Nash, uh, Nash, yeah. Alright, I'll get on the wagon. Oi. Right. Are you, are you right. You three staying? get home safe, alright? Alright. Alright. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wonder why people don't come out to Armory Low. <laughs> oh, God. Can you come again? He comes into town and immediately there's a dog down the shore. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh god. Nash will, um, we'll be sending out telegrams to let you know the schedules for the mining and typically we meet about 15 minutes beforehand outside those stables in Valentine. Uh, uh, if you ever uh, want right. to come along, just uh, come to those stables 15 minutes before the uh, start time. I'll, I'll make sure to tell them again I can give some money to the nice little Millie. Yeah, there you go. 
she bought me a ticket on a train ride and that was nice fun that sounds good next time you come along uh, i'll convince mr wade to sing for you he does that on occasion oh he sings too oh yeah, that man sing. does it all he's real good at it too. I really like your RP. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Cause, man, this is giving me anxiety. Doing great. Thank you. It's I might need to see the clip of me, uh, you... <laughs> me giving up the <laughs> It's not used to people actually up here the way you do it is really cool. Yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like the first couple of characters I wanted to do, I immediately was thinking of like the Dark Rider. You know, very Clint Eastwood, and I was like, "Now nah, there's gonna be loads of people who do that." I'm just uh, taking a little bit of a detour, eh? Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, sure. You stun locked him with the questions about the gems. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it made sense to me. I was just like, "There's no way Nash would know what the this fuck an emerald nice. is." Like, if you asked him what an emerald is, it'd be like, the "I'd be like, yeah, sure." I've yeah, seen that. That's green gem. Oh, I know well, green gem. Yeah, well, if you asked him what an emerald looks like, oh no. Just uh, sal, sal, just like a fruit. Oh, I'll eat. I'll eat it. Yeah. Yeah. I never really had a reason to learn the birds out here. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm oh. sure I don't want to turn right because I'm heading in the back here. I don't want to be. Uh, you can take that left right there. All it took was me just saying yeah. yes. That's how you get the best RP. It's just true. saying yes. Yeah, yeah it's go. true. It's true. You take the right of carriers. I am tired though, chat. Aww. Let's go to that time. I am Aww. tired. And I, I really need to do stuff too. tomorrow. So I can't see us doing a long stream tomorrow. Um, Kiki's still around. Did we raid Kiki last night? We did raid Kiki last night. Raid William? Yes! Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah we can raid. We can raid, uh, raid William. Oh, 
black water. I'm sure my friend. Yeah, probably. RP friends. Just more friends. Would you be able to do me a massive favor, would you? Yeah. I need to uh, I need to stop Would you do you mind going from Patrick back to Bantam and Nash? Yeah, it's fine. You don't have to if you don't mind, I just I don't if, know, if there's an inn at the next stop, I can, I can just go sleep there. I'm I'm real tired after that mining. Oh yeah, we'll um, we'll be getting you back to Valentine when we pick you up. So that that pretty much is the next stop. Actually. Ah, all right, all right. I wouldn't want to put you guys to so much trouble once you've been so kind to me. Ah, oh, no, not a problem. I'm just uh, I'm gonna jump out a little bit beforehand. You know, just uh. I'm a, I'm a little bit late for a meeting, isn't it? I understand. That's all right. He's not ending, is he? Nope. Okay, good. Almost. It's only a couple of minutes away from here. It's like 30 seconds away from here. Likely where I find out that they've already left, and uh, I'm gonna have to go catch up with them elsewhere. Anyway. Well, how late are you talking? Yeah, just 55 minutes. Yep, yeah, that'll do. But it was meant to be out of here, but we were just so uh, <laughs> they moved up here. Hmm. I don't see any horses there, so. Just yeah, wait for me one second. I'll double check, see if they're here. I might just continue on with you. Oh, maybe a second. Oh, I didn't mean to sit there. I'm coming with you.
uh, jump out of telegrams if that's okay, Jeb. Mm -hmm. Figure out where uh, my meeting is. Thanks very much for coming along, Nash. Thank you for your kind kindness there, Willam. Mm -hmm. No problem. It's good to see you. See you again. Bye bye now. My, that mining trip was stupendous, honestly. It was phenomenal. Back, back, back. You again. Oh, yeah, no worries. I'm, I'm gonna go get some rest now. I'm, I'm real sleepy. Yep, no, I sleep well. I'm gonna go, go count horses. You, you, have, you have a good one there. Yeah, you too. Uh, send you guys off shall we yes 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 i know it's a little pixelated i'll switch it up i'll make sure we, I, i've got the mp4 version now i'll you know what i could do that right now if you really wanted to you really want me to i could i could swap that up right now Download this. And I'll, uh, I'll send you guys off to, what is it? Cast, uh, mere gold. And then, uh, this is my downloads. There we go, and then swap this. Oh god. That was too big. Look at those nipples. Oh, what a way to end the stream with nipples. Oh my god, it's so big. It's so high res, it's such good quality. There you go. I'm a professional streamer. There we go. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Go send some love over to Casimir. Thank you for all the love we had today. Today was phenomenal. Had a lot of fun. What up? He's a lot of fun. Go send uh, Casimir Gold all the love. He gave us all the love. I appreciate you guys. Go give him a follow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow.